hybrid is basically an x-ray machine in an operating theatre. This is the most sophisticated operating theatre in Europe. Probably one of the most tech-heavy operating theatres in the world. Use this as a template and bring the knowledge and experience throughout the hospital, not just into the theatres. An angiogram can be run, which gives images, which then can inform the surgeon as to what's going on with regard to the vessels that have been operated on. We can stream to the Royal College of Surgeons. We have an anaesthetic conference room upstairs, and they can talk back. So that we can set up, a, like, it's like teams, and then they can be in the Royal College of Surgeons, and we can be training the surgeons of the future and the uniqueness of the future. There have been images all over the world. There's updated navigation equipment, mm. the layout of it, the communications, the, 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 the 4G signals, you know, all the Wi-Fi connections, all that kind of stuff. In the future, this will use AI in that. That you'd kind of feed a scenario back into the computer and then that, that would update it, get you with regard to kind of banks of information and cases which have been done in the past. But obviously, when you record the surgeries, then we can go back and we can see, oh, actually, the tumour was this big. You know, so what I find in my time is that is becoming more and more and more important. The beauty about this operating theatre is that we can take information very quickly into it, even from abroad. We're operating here, we could maybe link up with San Francisco, take their opinion from Stanford and inform the decision making during the case. We have four robots. We're getting another one. If you, a couple of years ago, if you had a prostate, you'd be two weeks in here, now you're a couple of days, you know? So you we're freeing up beds by using the robot, okay? And it's a lot more precise. I think it, it allows us to push the envelope in terms of what we can do. Um, we can take on more challenging conditions. I think maybe this is the start of something else and more fascinating from a scientific point of view.